Hi, friendos. My name is Stuart, and welcome to our next look at Dragon Ball. If you haven't seen our Brawly, Vegeta, Zamasu, Goku Black, or our Cell video, please do. Dragon Ball is an iconic series filled with some of the most famous characters in fiction. They're especially fun to do alignment videos on, and, uh, you know, they do pretty well in views. So be sure to stay tuned to this channel for two more this month. But since I did Cell, I feel it's high time we examine his ultimate opponent. The man, the myth, the legend that is... Mark, or he's better known as is a stage name of Hercule or Mr. Satan. Dragon Ball has had a lot of normal characters, or the average fighters, throughout its tenure. The original Dragon Ball used a lot of them to help showcase how amazing Goku, Krillin, Tien, or Yamcha. Yeah, <laughs> technically Yamcha's really strong, but there were a lot of normal fighters back in the original Dragon Ball, and when it came to Dragon Ball Z, they just kind of got outclassed and outshone. However, none of them have made such an impact on the series as much as Mr. Satan, a regular martial artist who just happened to be the world's martial arts champion at the absolute worst time. Getting into the character himself, Hercule is a champion who has somehow avoided all contact with Goku and his group of friends up until this point. He has trained at an awesomely named Satan Dojo, and he honored his teachings by taking the name Mr. Satan only to accidentally insult the legendary assassin, Tao Pai Pai, which injured him and killed his master. Oops. This shaped Hercule to where he would actively avoid a fight from anyone that was too strong. Hercule himself could only be described as having the luck of the gods. Opponents have lost to him or have suffered bouts of bad food poisoning, which we really need to emphasize for this show, he is not actually responsible for. Because of this, he eventually was crowned the world's strongest when the series starts. I will also state that he's actually quite strong for an average human. Like, he is doing feats of strength that uh, I definitely can't do. He punched through solid fucking steel, jeez. Because of his uncanny luck, Hercule is a man who believed his own hype. However, he is also a raging coward that will look for any excuse to avoid a fight that could endanger his life. He loves a good fight, the luxury of winning, and will do just about anything to make it happen, even if it means cheating. As such, we're going to be generous and label Hercule at chaotic neutral. He's definitely not a bad guy, but he's a dude that has a lot of vices and habits that definitely don't make him perfect, unlike the guy we covered last week. But if you want us to cover more Dragon Ball characters, or any shonen anime for that matter, just... I'm not singing this. I'm not. Si no, I. You're as. <laughs> I'm not singing this. <laughs> you know what? You know what? Whoever wants, it, whichever editor who's a better singer than I can, just go ahead and sing that shit. Don't stop! Don't stop! Hit the like button. Don't stop! There's no fun if you don't subscribe. Be sure to keep your fears abound by sharing the video. Join our Dragon Solo by ringing the bell for all notifications. And cry out your thoughts and comments in the section below. Anyway, with that out of the way, let's go. Alright, let's just see what I can do. After showing off his skills in front of an adoring audience, the champ accepts Cell's challenge as Earth's strongest under the heavens. Lawful neutral. Care to let us know what's going through that brave mind? I assume you're feeling confident. Uh, what I'm feeling right now is pity for this creep cell. After arriving in a stylish fashion, Hercule cuts a quick promo to intimidate his opponent. Chaotic neutral. And I gotta say, Vegeta, so glad you saw fit to make an appearance. After witnessing the other fighters fly in, Hercule insists on going first, breaking some of the tiles to show that he's strong. It does not go well. Lawful neutral. <laughs> Despite taking a hit from Cell's ultimate form, Hercule actually survives the ring out, but claims Cell cheated. He then avoids any chance to fight to save himself. Chaotic neutral. As the games progress and Gohan refuses to fight Cell, the decapitated Android 16 asks Hercule to toss him closer. Even though he knows that it could endanger his life, Hercule does so, getting Android 16 to Gohan helping him achieve Super Saiyan 2 and thus saving the world. Lawful good. Okay, I remember Cell and the Water Boy were trying to hit each other with that strange light attack, but that's all I saw. With the dust settling and all the cameras destroyed, Hercule uses the confusion to claim that he defeated Cell. This 
actually works, causing the entire world to believe his lie, capitulating Hercules' fame to unforeseen heights. I'm gonna call this chaotic neutral, although it's arguably neutral evil. Wow, folks, those make-believe warriors with their fake energy blasting and flying sure were crazy. They aren't as real as cold hard truths like alien invaders, dog presidents, and the one and only champ. But you can live out your fantasy by following the link to LoadingCrewCrafts.com. Not only can you find your one-stop shop for super soft Daki Makara, but you can also find our Pathfinder supplements, where you can play as a Wukong, Slugkin, Frost Demon, or Majin in your own Pathfinder game. This includes classes like the Keymaster, where you can build a custom DBZ-like fighter, and gold Golden Warrior, where you can achieve Super Saiyan or Golden Frieza forms if you like. Currently, right now, as of the time of this recording, we are almost done with our mythic options where you could play as Super Saiyan 4 or Super Saiyan God, but I am not entirely certain if those are done yet. I will include a link below if it's actually finished. Head on over to LoadingCrewCrafts.com today to get your copy. <laughs> Hercule continues prospering in his life, with cities being renamed and history glorifying him. This has caused friction with his daughter, Videl. Chaotic neutral, four times. <laughs> Sweetheart, put your life savings on me for the win, because I got this wrapped up. With the world's martial arts tournament starting up again, Hercule is automatically entered and realizes to his horror that the people who actually beat Cell are there. Still, he tries to play it cool with coming up with a plan. Neutral. Here for a small break before we get this show on the road? Nah, I'm good. Alrighty then. It's time to bring out the world champ! When Kid Trunks wins the junior division, Hercule honors his commitment to fight the kid, even if he's seen him pull off the Golden Warrior transformation. Taking a tap from Trunks, Hercule is able to unintentionally deceive everyone into thinking he played it up for the kid. Chaotic neutral. When his daughter is injured in a vicious battle with the old rival, Spopovich, Hercule rushes in to help her and asks the doctors to do everything they can to save her. Even after everything, Hercule still cares about his daughter. That's neutral good, man. Hats off to you guys who faced your fears and stuck around. Not that it's gonna change the outcome when we fight or nothing. After several delays in the tournament, Hercule takes everyone on a free-for-all. Only when Android 18 remains, he offers to take the fall for double the money. Hercule immediately agrees and shows off for the crowd. Lawful neutral. <laughs> when Boo rains terror on the world, Hercule is forced to fight to keep up his charade. Lawful neutral. Wuss, fatty! I fart on you! Take that! Hercule attempts to kill Boo twice and realize how fucked he is. Dude then tricks Boo into getting on his scam and making a fake photo to defeat him. Chaotic neutral. This much dynamite packed into his house is sure to blow Boo into tiny bits no matter how strong he seems. Ready to try to take down Boo again, Hercule sees Boo with a very good puppy. Hercule then uses this to help the Agent of Chaos to be good, and it works. Neutral good. You won't believe it, Boo! Come quickly! The little guy's still breathing! When a group of criminals come to rob them, Hercule defends everyone but is shot along with the puppy. Boo heals Satan and the puppy but ejects the evil in his heart and is then defeated. Super Boo goes on to continue his onslaught. Neutral good. Hercule somehow survives Boo's rampage, trying to help Goku and his friends however he can. Dude even survives the destruction of the Earth and goes into the final battle with Boo, ready to stop power and chaos incarnate. Kid Boo. Neutral at first for just surviving, and then lawful good for attempting to stop Boo. I think Goku's actually thinking this one through. As Goku tries in vain to gather enough energy to utterly destroy Boo, Hercule sees that the Earth has turned their back on their hero. In rage, Hercule calls them all out and, using his charisma, is able to convince all the doubters to give in, effectively killing Kid Boo. Lawful good. You're scared! I don't blame you! My raw strength is too much for anyone! Yeah! With Kid Boo gone, only Majin Boo remains. Naturally, everyone is ready to kill Boo since he's a walking time bomb, but Hercule steps up and takes responsibility. He then asks everyone to spare Boo's life and that he'll supervise him from now on. Lawful good. You have to promise me, Boo! Don't you get angry and start hurting people! My friend, he say Boo no get angry now! 
true to his word, Hercule takes care of Boo, keeping his temper in check. He also begins using Boo to win more martial arts tournaments, where Boo will beat everyone else before losing to Hercule. Hercule gives him food and treats and promises to maybe let Boo win one day. Chaotic neutral for the cheating and chaotic good for continuing to take care of Boo. Hercule is honestly kind of a blast. I know we didn't cover his events in Dragon Ball Super, mostly because I, I still can't find high quality episodes of Super, and nothing really happens with him and Boo. And while several other characters were shuffled into the background as the cast grew, Hercule proved to be a delight. And while he's a human like Tian, Krillin, and yeah, I guess Yamcha, he is also the most human. He can't fly, he can't blast energy, he can't even fathom destroying the world. He's like Bulma, where his personality is a great foil to characters like Goku and Vegeta, but he can kind of fight, at least normal people. And while he started off as a selfish fool, it was due to Boo that we see him evolve from a coward to a good and brave person. He's still a little shit weasel and somehow survives in a room full of gods and monsters, but it's just kind of fun to watch him. It's a joke character done right. If any players or DMs need an example of an effective joke character for a session, study Hercule. He doesn't break the world, he doesn't ruin the story, but he actually enhances it and adds on some much needed levity and a return to normalcy. Honestly, he's just Oh, I just realized he's basically a more likable and accepted version of Jar Jar. No, seriously, go check out our Jar Jar Bings video and then look at Hercule again and then kind of compare the two and see which one you like a little bit better. But what do you guys think? Do you like Hercule? Do you want us to cover more of these side characters from Dragon Ball? Anyone from the original series or maybe GT? Even though it's not really clear if it's canon anymore, could be fun to re-examine. Thank you to the patrons and I'll see you all next time.